have to say I agree with Will. I think we have the best senator in the world, Richard Blumenthal. I first, I first met him actually 20 years ago at a pro-choice rally, and here we are still today. I want the time to come that this doesn't have to happen anymore, but until then, I know he's going to fight the good fight for us. I give you Senator Blumenthal. Please, please join me in a big round of applause for Gail, who has really put this rally together, and she has been in this fight for a long time. Now, let me just say a word to the men who are here, the men of Connecticut, the men of America. You can't sit this one out. This is your fight, too. This is every bit your fight. Even though you are here, and I have been supporters of brave, bold, strong, smart women who have led the reproductive rights fight over decades. And there are a lot of people here, and thank you for coming, who have never known the America that we knew before Roe v. Wade. I clerked for Justice Blackman in 1974, the year after Roe. He wrote the opinion. We thought it was done, settled, and here we are. This has been a fight for me over those decades. And with the help of our colleagues in 1990, we made Roe the law of our state. We wrote it into our statutes. We enacted it in 1990, and Matt Blumenthal, not Richard Blumenthal, and Jillian Gilchrist, and the members of the state legislature who are here today, thank you so much for leading the nation. Connecticut is at the tip of the spear. We're at the forefront of leading the nation in showing how we can preserve choice at the state level. It is a magnificent accomplishment. And thank you so much to Sean, to William, to all of our state legislators, Stephanie, Will, all of you. But here's what Mitch McConnell said just last week. The minority leader of the United States Senate said he's open to a nationwide ban, a ban criminalizing abortion. Even worse than overturning Roe v. Wade, a ban on abortion actually would override our state laws. This fight is really a matter of life and death. And you are the ones who are going to win it. You are the ones who are going to stop Mitch McConnell from becoming the next majority leader and imposing Mitch McConnell's will on the nation. But it's not just Mitch McConnell, Will. We know in 23 states, bans on abortion will go into effect. You've heard all this already. I'm not going to belabor a lot of what you've heard. But just to say to you that you are leading here in Connecticut. We can be really proud of our Connecticut state legislature. But we need to take the spirit and energy and fight that you're showing today in states across the nation where pro-choice senators, pro-choice members of Congress are on the ballot. I can tell you who they are in states like New Hampshire and Georgia and Arizona and Nevada and hopefully in Ohio and North Carolina and Wisconsin. If we win those seats, we can eliminate the filibuster for reproductive rights and pass the Women's Health Protection Act. Pass the Women's Health Protection Act. Now, I'll just finish on this note. Uh, you know, when I, when I wrote the Women's Health Protection Act in 2013, almost 10 years ago, modeling it after the one we did here in Connecticut, protecting a woman's right to make these choices about when and whether to have children. 
the thought of Roe v. Wade being overturned was unimaginable. Nobody thought a United States Supreme Court would ever overturn this well-established legal precedent. And of course, the nominees for the United States Supreme Court told us they would respect those precedents, right? And they have destroyed a chunk of the Supreme Court's credibility as a result. But we now know that 2013 is real in the need for this measure. It is absolutely essential that we do it at the congressional level, that the Women's Health Protection Act, as it is right now, I'm not in favor of dumbing it down, diluting it, compromising on that basic right. We need the Women's Health Protection Act enacting Roe into law. And you are going to do it because it's not going to be a top-down movement. These leaders are so inspiring. They are here, and this picture is worth a thousand words, to say to you, they are going to continue this fight. But it is your energy, your spirit, your commitment that is going to make the difference, your support for those candidates who have the guts and the grit, the courage, to step forward. This issue is not a slam dunk. The American people are for choice, 70%. But they need to step forward and show the voters, put reproductive rights on the ballot this November and win this November for the women and the men of America. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for your fight and all your help and support. You are the way we're going to win. Thank you.